Okay, so now we got some questions on electronic structure. Uh, first one, has electrons in F orbitals? So our first instinct might be to find one of these choices as an element in the F block. But actually, if we look through the five choices, none of these five are in the F block. So that effort does not work. Uh, instead, let's just look at what we got. We got argon. Argon is right here. That is in period three. We haven't even started filling Ds yet, much less Fs, so it can't be A. B, oxygen, same thing. It's in period two, not even close to filling Fs. S, period three, not even close to filling Fs. T ti, titanium. Okay, so we're in group, or period four. We're starting to fill the three Ds, but again, we're not even close to filling Fs. Uh, oh, oh, okay, yeah, I was thinking of a different problem. Yeah, we do have a one in the F block, U, duh. Okay, so that was that was silly. Anyway, yeah, so what I was doing there, I was there was a different problem, which is a lot similar to this, where basically the answer was gold. Because if you look at gold, gold is after the first set of F block, right? So the lactonide series, or lanthanide series, excuse me, um, is in here, and notice gold comes after it. So gold has a full shell of 4F electrons. Uh, so that was the problem I was thinking of. Here, it's easy. U is right here. It's in the actinide series, so that has electrons in its Fs. Right? It's in the process of filling the Fs. Has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Okay, one way to do it is just count the number of electrons and match it up to the atomic number. 2, 4, 10, 12, 16. That's atomic number. 16 is S, so the answer is C. That's one way. You can also do it by looking at the atomic structure. So it's a partially filled 3p orbital. So here's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and we fill it up to 4, so 3p1, 3p2, 3p3, 3p4. That's another way to do it. Either way, it's, it's fine. Has the same number of electrons as calcium 2 plus. So one way to do it is just find calcium. Here it is. It loses two electrons to become 2 plus, so it's going to have the same uh, electron configuration as argon. So there it is, argon. Another way, again, is to take the number of protons slash electrons it has at the neutral state, which is 20, subtract 2, 18. That's going to match up with argon. Uh, this, by the way, is a vocabulary word. This is isoelectronic. Isoelectronic <clears throat> with argon, right? Because they have the same uh, electron structure, same electron configuration. Uh, is the least chemically reactive. So we look at the choices. Argon. Well, yeah, remember this is argon as a noble gas. And noble gases have full octets, full shells of electrons, uh, which means they are, not that they're completely unreactive, uh, especially when you get down lower, uh, sometimes you get some weird uh, reactions with noble gases, but they're overall very unreactive compared to the other elements in the tables because they've kind of achieved what they want to achieve in, achieve, in getting that full octet. Uh, so the other choice is oxygen is very reactive, so that's not it. Sulfur is pretty reactive, not it, obviously. Uranium is pretty unreactive in effect, in reality, but it's not as unreactive as argon. And titanium is a metal, it's probably pretty reactive too. So best choice here is by far argon for that one.